All right, all right, all right. It's time for Mr. Tough, but with a heart of gold, Sam the Man. Let's, uh, let's see how well he fits into his cat here, shall we? I was led to a booth and given a menu and some cat treats. As I settled into my chair, I noted all of the kittens and cats who were wandering around, nuzzling people, or simply watching the patrons in mutual curiosity. As I was led to a booth of my own, a fluffy brown cat made his way over and proceeded to try and steal my seat, causing me and the host to laugh a bit. I took the advantage and took the seat opposite of the cat, not wanting to lose such cute company despite his invasion of my reservation. He would help me pass time as I waited for my server, Mr. Tuff. D doofus <laughs> You can't just scream that in the middle of a crowded cafe, man. I turned my head to the voice, instantly recognizing it. H huh? What interesting colored uh I guess it's gray? Cat ears and tail? Hmm, green over a pink shirt. Interesting. My eyes locked their gaze on Sam, my husband, dressed in a server's outfit with cat ears on his head. I was stunned speechless, opening my mouth to say something, but unable to vocalize anything. You freaking doofus! How did you- Wait. Is it one of your friends the manager? God damn- <laughs> Keep it together, boy. Sam was just as flustered, gripping the menu in his hands and an almost damaging grip as he attempted to form actual sentences. However, he glared at the wall, his mechanical ear cat ears twitching on his head. So, um... You're Mr. Tough. His server name made Sam turn his gaze back to me, the blush on his face intensifying. A small smile grew on my face at the sight. He was such a stubborn guy, and damn it, I loved him. The cat who sat with me, obviously irritated at the situation, meowed loudly towards Sam, causing him to straighten up and glare at the feline in return. Oh, shut up, you! <laughs> Sam slowly lifted the menu for me to take, trying to regain his composure. At least, whatever composure he was supposed to have as a server for a cat cosplay cafe. Welcome to the perfect service event! What can I get you? <laughs> nice recovery. Laying out a chuckle, I took the menu and looked through the options. There were a couple of items with a magic wand next to the title, including the option I decided to go with. Hmm. I think I'll go with the hard emerald tea. That just sounds so wrong on so many levels. What? I shot my gaze back over to him, seeing his shocked and semi-scared expression at my choice. What? Was it bad? Sam? Sam's lips pursed together, his entire face suddenly as red as, as a tomato, before laying out an exasperated scream of a sigh into the ceiling, which surprisingly made the patrons around us just laugh at the sight. Are you sure? Can you explain? I had to see this through. I wanted to know exactly what was wrong with my choice. Yes, Mr. Tough. A hard emerald tea, please. Sam gave me a look that both screamed, why must you hurt me? And I will get revenge for this later. <laughs> both making me laugh and shudder internally at the thought. What the hickey hay is going on? Quickly, Sam walked off to fulfill my order, leaving me to my imagination. Was there liquor in it? What made it special? What did the magic wand mean? I fed the cat who sat with me, hearing him purr in appreciation of my gift, before hearing a clearly embarrassed clearing of a throat beside me. I looked over in confusion once again. There Sam stood with a cup of lovely aromatic green tea. That was fast, but why was he grimacing? Your tea. It's a specialty, okay? So, it requires something special. <laughs> Your specialty is a specialty? Thank you? Sam lowered the tea to the table and held out his hands towards it, making me that much more confused. What was he doing? Okay, so hold your hands out and repeat after me. Meow meow blast pew pew pew. <laughs> I was wondering if that was what that was gonna be. <laughs> It's like from, uh, Food Wars, where, um, oh my goodness, the Aldini brothers go to that cosplay cafe. It's like, I can't remember how the whole thing goes, but it's really cute. I remember just the, the girl being like, you know, infuse this omelette with sparkles or love or something. I can't remember. It's so long ago now. 
Okay, whatever Sam said, I had to hear louder and clearer. This may have been a death sentence for me, but I was too amused to care. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. Sam glared at me, gritting his teeth. Just say meow meow bless pew pew pew. <laughs> Sam, you're mumbling. What are you saying? Just fucking do the thing with me! <laughs> meow meow bless pew pew pew! <laughs> Nailed it. Aww. Poor sweet boy. In pure aggravation, Sam began to make cute hand signs at the tea, slipping a middle finger sign at it before letting out a sigh and curling over himself, his arms crossed and his gaze to the ground. Patrons around us laughed quietly, obviously not wanting to inquire, ignite his wrath, but I couldn't help the chortles that escaped me, making Sam look up with me with gritted teeth. Sam, I love you, you big adorable dork. And suddenly he was a blushing mess again, trying to be angry with me, but unable to keep a glare on his face for more than a moment. God damn it, I... I, uh, I love you too. What was that? Moments like this made me just beam, and I was lucky to have him in life every day as my one and only. It was like a hard emerald love. Can we stop with the hard? Wait, can we just remove the hard? It's terrible. Beautiful. A little rough around the edges, but perfect for me. God, why is the ending called this? Moving on. Ugh. You dork. Good grief. So aggravating, but so cute at the same time. Never change, Sam. Oh, dear, oh dear. Okay. So that was Sam's attempt at being a cat server. Too cute. Okay. Well, I guess that means it's Mr. Sweet's turn next time. So, no, not Mr. Sweet. We already did Mr. Sweet, my honey. Ugh, oh, Mr. Meow? I think that's Matthew. Matthew would be the one to go like all hardcore on the cat. So I can't wait to see how he deals with, how, like how his services, I guess. Is that the way to put it? I don't know. Anyway, we'll see Matthew next time, I guess. Hopefully I'll see you there, guys. Until then, see you later.